Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can write this as x squared over 36, that's 66, which is also c squared. Then equals to here we have 6 over x. The next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x, also equals to 6 times. 6 squared. And here we have x raised to power 1 is also 6 raised to power 1. When we have a raised to power n times a raised to power n, we have a raised to power n plus n. And this here we can say we have x raised to power 2 plus 1 equals to also 6 raised to power 1 plus 2. And next step, this becomes x raised to power 3 equals to also 6 raised to power 3. Next step, taking 6 raised to the power 3 to the left hand side, we have x raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power 3, then equals to 0 here. Then this follows from where we have a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, open bracket a square plus ab plus b square. Then what we have here becomes x minus 6 into brackets open bracket x square plus 6x plus 6 square close bracket equals to 0 here that is here we have x minus 6 into bracket open bracket x square plus 6x plus 6 square that's 36 close brackets equals to 0 here then we have two possible cases here. The first one x minus 6 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 6x plus 36 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 6, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 6. And c equals to 36. Then applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Then here we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36. All over 2 times 1. Then here yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square plus 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36. We can write as 4 times 36 all over 2. That is here yeah, we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of. 36 is common here, we have 36 into brackets, 1 minus 4, close brackets, then over 2 here, which implies we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 3, all over 2. Then, this follows from where we have root a times b, but separates as root a times root b. At this here we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus root 36 times root minus 3 all over 2. At this we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus root 36 that's 6 then root minus 3 same thing as root 3i then over 2 here. That is Next step here, we separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to minus 6 over 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i over 2. And this becomes x equals to minus 6 over 2, we have minus 3, and plus or minus. Here also we have 3 root 3i. At this here, we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, we have three solutions together. One re solution 
and two complex solutions. When we write it out, we have x1 equals to 6, x2 equals to minus 3 plus 3 roots 3 high, then x3 equals to minus 3 minus 3 roots 3 high, which makes three solutions one real and two complex solutions. Then we can check if x equals to 6 satisfy this given problem as this when we substitute here this becomes 6 square over 36 is it equals to 6 over 6 and 6 square that's 36 over 36 is this equals to 6 over 6 and 6 over 6 something as 1 equals to 6 over 6 also 1 left hand side equals to right hand side and therefore x equals to 6 satisfies this given problem in the same way the other two complex solutions to be satisfied and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments see you in the next class and bye for now